Hello Gemini, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your bonus reading for the second half of October. General reading as always guys, it won't resonate with every single person. Please do take from this what makes sense for you and let the rest go. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below and I'll include a link to all of the decks and creators that you see here today. So Gemini, let's get started. These are the three decks that we're going to be taking a look at for your reading. We're focusing on your connection, of course. Are you fated to be together with this person? Or is it really time to say farewell to this chapter of your life when it comes to this connection? Okay, so this is focused more so on those of you who are not together and are in separation. But, you know, those of you who are together and going through challenges, if you relate to parts of this reading, you're absolutely more than welcome to take from it what makes sense for your situation. All right, so the three decks for your focus messages are the Sounds of Time Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. This is my self-created one. It's called the X Oracle. And then lastly, we'll pull a card from the Arrows of Love Oracle by Mystic Moon. All right, Gemini, here we go. And cross watchers, of course, are welcome. Anyone else who's been guided to tune in. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini for this bonus reading, second half of October. What is your first focus message? I'm drawn to this one. Let's see what it is. Autumn time, which we are in right now. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if it's auto autumn time worldwide, but here in the States, it's definitely the fall season. So something might be of significance during this time of year. Gemini, or this could be reflective off of a time of year for you and your person. Okay, so let's see how that plays a part in the overall messages that present itself here. Let's see what else. All right, so let's go ahead and grab a card from the X Oracle here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Gemini. Second focus message for Gemini for this bonus reading. I'm guided to this card. I still want you. Do you still want me? Okay, so this could be a question that you guys are asking each other. Or certainly you could be asking your person this question. They could be asking you this question. So however way it resonates. But if we are interpreting this from your person's standpoint, they're really wanting to know do you still want me? Because they're coming through here letting you know for this reading, Gemini, that they're definitely still invested, that they're still interested in you, and that they still want you in their life. So, as I mentioned, since autumn time is right there, something of significance could happen during this time of year. So let's grab a third focus message here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini. All right, what else? I'm guided to this card. Invitation of love. Okay, so in a way, this is perhaps from your person, Gemini. They're really wanting to invite you back into their life, into their heart. And it's totally up to you if you accept that invitation from your person. But they're really wanting to... I feel open up lines of communication here between the two of you to see where this could go. All right, so let's continue and let's see what else is going to come through in this reading. This is another one of Jennifer Aquarius Tarot's deck. This is the Faded Love deck, Faded Love Oracle. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini for the second half of October for this bonus reading. Are you guys fated to be together? Stay together? Come back together? Or is it really time to say farewell to this connection, this chapter of your life? Ghosting. Someone was ghosted here. It could have been you, Gemini, that either was ghosted or did the ghosting. We have juicy refreshment, okay? So perhaps the sexual chemistry between the two of you, they could have certainly found you to be very attractive. You know, they, there's something about your body that they really love. They, they could really love your booty. <laughs> um, something about pineapples as well from this particular card that might be a favorite 
fruit for someone. Okay, so take that for how it makes sense. And then we have setting free. So ghosting, setting free. What I feel here, Gemini, is somebody detached, somebody let go. Could have been your person because they're, they're coming through letting you know, I still want you. Do you still want me? But I'm kind of feeling for some of you guys that this is you coming through with that. Wanting to know, do you still want me? So whoever was set free perhaps wants to return or the person that did the setting free wants the other person to come back. You know, again, take it for how it's meant to come through for you. Time to make moves. Okay, so there is somebody that needs to take that first step here to bring you guys back into union and look at the next card guys we've got reconciliation whoa so even though you guys are not together because somebody ghosted and set the other person free whoever did that the attraction is still here and somebody's thinking about making a move but they also i feel they're also realizing that time is running out because look, we've got a clock right here. Okay, reflective off of that autumn time. And then time to make moves and then we've got another clock right there. So there's something, it comes down to time here. And maybe this person realizes that they only have a particular window of opportunity to reach out, to create change, to bring this back together wanting a reconciliation for sure there's something very enticing about this person gemini i feel you're very attracted to them they're just as equally attracted to you i mean look at the energy from that photo i kind of feel when you guys are together you you can't keep your hands off of each other you know it's very sexual in nature you guys are just drawn to one another you you just enjoy touching each other making love to each other kissing each other being together looking into each other's eyes all of it the desire is still here and i i feel gemini that the love is still here also we have imperfections okay so i i feel Obviously, nobody's perfect. You have to accept each other for what you're both bringing to the table. Flaws and all, you know. It's one of those things where two imperfect people come together to create something perfect together, if that makes sense. The two of you guys just fit perfectly together is what I'm feeling. And then we have harmony, restoring the harmony in this partnership, the togetherness. Whoa. And then we have a past life nostalgia. Some of you guys might have connected in a past life as well. And so reconnecting in this lifetime to perhaps address the issues from that prior lifetime. And just remembering the good times, remembering those happy memories that you guys have shared together. Wow. So let's add to this, Gemini. This is the Fire and Ice Lenormand deck. This is by my soul sister, Angelic Revelation 144. So let's grab some messages from here. Angels and spirit guides, please. For Gemini. For this bonus reading, second half of October. What else do we need to know? It appears to me, even though it's a little bit early in the reading, it does appear to me that you guys are fated to come back together. Because there is clearly a reconciliation here and desire from, I feel, both of you. I don't think this is a one-sided thing. I feel, for whatever reason, you know, you guys went into separation. But the desire, clearly, it's still here. 27, letter, thoughtful, passionate, loving communication. Okay, so maybe they, they want to reach out to you. Some form of communication here, either an actual letter 
or in today's world, it could be a text, it could be a voice message, it could be an email, it could be an actual card, it could be a telegram, something, some form of written communication or a message that you receive, letting you know, Gemini, that they still want you, they're still thinking about you, they're still feeling this very passionate pull towards you, they still love you. And then we've got the tree coming through. Okay, the tree represents this energy of someone who is here to stay. They want to be able to grow this relationship into something beautiful and valuable and lasting. Sacred soul connection is what they feel with you. We've got broom coming through now. Passion, aggression, jealousy, lust, and strife. This could have been a part of the challenge for some of you guys, even though the passion, clearly it's here. But there was also this, perhaps this very aggressive way of how you guys interacted with each other. Arguments that you guys have had, or if there was a reason for someone to be jealous here, maybe somebody moved on to another relationship. And that's ultimately what broke you guys up. There could have been infidelities here. But for the majority of the messages presenting itself here, you guys are still into each other. The passion is still here. The opportunity to reconcile this is here. Wanting to bring harmony back, restore it, remembering the good times that you guys have shared. And, you know, it's interesting how this broom energy is falling right below setting free. So I feel parts of the relationship that were not working needs to be swept away because i feel part of the challenge when you guys were together is that you guys were actually sweeping things under the rug rather than dealing with the issues not facing them head on and so this broom energy can actually be used for a very different reason moving forward for the two of you to come back together so whatever wasn't working whatever the challenges and challenges and obstacles were sweep that away let that go let that not be a part of the equation moving forward. We have park, a faded meeting or reunion. Hello. So this is really confirming a lot here for this particular reading. You know, are you fated to be together? It appears to be the case. Wow. We do have this snake energy. This this one keeps popping up. So charming, cunning, and dangerous. I feel that as well contributed to why this person was ghosted because they were being slick. You know, they were being like a snake, a deceptive snake, perhaps just being very charming to lure someone in, but they end up really creating havoc in a partnership. So I really feel for some of you guys, you might have been dealing with somebody who might have been a bit of a player or they were just messing around. They weren't ready to commit. But with this energy right next to this, you know, that is a bride and groom. That's a faded meeting or reunion. Two people really wanting to come back into union. This person is a part of your destiny, Gemini. So even though you guys are not together, you're still destined to come back together. This is very interesting. Okay. It's the exact same number and exact message. Letter. Thoughtful. In this particular card, it says contemplative, but it's about communication as well. So it's interesting how... It appears that obviously this is a female energy and this is a male energy right there. Masculine. So maybe you guys both want to reach out and communicate with each other. You're both wanting to reach out. Look at this. Masculine. Okay. So the masculine energy right next to this letter with a masculine figure in the photo, obviously. So my masculines definitely want to communicate and reach out to the feminine. And my feminines, I feel you're on the same boat. You want to be able to reach out as well.
I'm just feeling here more so that it could be my masculines who make that first move to communicate. And then we've got the stars. I love it. Divine guidance, healing, and inspiration. Okay? So the stars align. The stars are what's going to be guiding you guys back together. It's amazing, you guys. That's what's presenting itself here so far. Reconciliation. A faded meeting, a reunion. You both want to reach out through these letters. Once they return, Gemini, they want to stay. They're here to stay. Okay, so let's grab some tarot messages. This is my tarot teacher deck. For those who are not familiar, this is a deck that I created for those who would like to learn how to read tarot for yourselves. Each card contains an upright and reverse meaning, so it makes it very easy to interpret the messages. If that's something you're interested in, the deck shop link is down below in the description box, as well as all of the other creators that you see here. So Gemini, let's see what else. What else needs to come through here? But so far, it, it really does look like they want to re return. They want to come back. I still want you. Do you still want me? I feel the answer to that question is yes. And we've got the fool's energy now. So perhaps whoever was ghosted, you know, they were doing very foolish things. They were reckless and careless. But, you know, the fool in the upright is just taking that leap of faith to head towards a new beginning. You could certainly see this person as a very exciting lover as well. Because the sexual magnetism that's coming through here is pretty strong. It's pretty evident. I'm also feeling that somebody had issues when it came to commitment. Could have been the masculine here. But, you know, that could be the feminine too. So whoever was not ready to commit, I feel, just contributed issues to the partnership here. What else, please, for Gemini? But yeah, you guys can have a new beginning here. We do have the hangman, but the hangman is coming up in the reverse. So there's this stalling energy when it comes to a reversed hangman. There is this delay due to indecision. And it can represent a missed opportunity. So, you know, I feel if no action is taken, since we've got time here that's ticking, you know, it's nice to be able to think about wanting a reunion and a reconciliation, but if nobody takes any action, then it can be a missed opportunity here. So that's why this hangman is coming up reversed. But look at this, guys. We've got the star coming up again. Some of you guys might be focused on an Aquarian here. But yeah, we've got the star, and then we've got stars. Okay, so it's number 16, and this deck and it's number 17 in traditional tarot so if those numbers mean anything to some of you but there's still hope here gemini that this can come back together you are being presented with an opportunity to start over the star can represent a fulfilled wish a wish that comes true for the two of you Wow, so I really kind of feel here that there's a chance here still for you guys. We do have the energy of the moon right next to the star. Okay, so that's Pisces specifically for some of you. I have a feeling when it comes to your person, or you might even relate to this for yourself, Gemini, you're allowing your fears and anxieties to get in the way of creating movement or action to bring this back together. This could be your person as well. And also part of the challenge why this fell apart is because there was someone that was being deceptive here. We already know this from the snake's energy, someone who's cunning, okay, using their charms to slither their way into a situation. So there could have been secrets and deceptive energies going on here. 
third party situations, which is what broke you guys up for some of you. So I'm not surprised to see the eight of cups because this is a card of walking away and leaving something behind. So we've got ghosting, we've got setting free. Somebody walked away from you, Gemini, or you walked away from them. But the thing is, even though you guys went into separation and walked away from this relationship and there's distance here, the Eight of Cups is loneliness as well. You know, you guys were very lonely without each other, feeling very nostalgic about those special moments that you guys have shared. And then here we are with the Judgment card. There's an awakening that's happening here, redemption, reincarnation of this connection a transition, somebody wanting forgiveness, somebody really wanting to reconcile. It certainly is possible, guys, that this can come back together. And then we've got the Seven of Cups here. So I feel, Gemini, that somebody had too many choices, too many options in love and romance. And ultimately, there was infidelity here for some of you, third-party situations. But ultimately, realizing that they made the wrong choice and that they want to return, they want to come back. They still want you. They want to reach out. I feel you both do. And so perhaps Gemini, you know, they're fantasizing about you. They're daydreaming about you. They still reminisce about the times that you guys have shared. You could be in that same energy also. Okay. And with the three of wands coming through here, this is all about looking ahead, moving forward. This can represent a long distance romance for some of you guys. So coming back together from a distance. And the three of wands represents someone who's happy with the choices that they've made now. Okay, so I feel next to the Seven of Cups with way too many options before maybe a wrong choice was made. And now the Three of Wands is giving you guys the opportunity for a new beginning and to make better choices that will fulfill you both and make you happy. And where will that take you? Here, the Ten of Cups. Unbelievable. Reunion, homecomings, fulfillment, a dream coming true, the divine love that you guys share, harmony, restored. Here we are alignment coming together with your soulmate for some of you you see this person as a twin flame there's a potential for marriage here commitment you see bride and groom and then we've got your own energy gemini through the lover's card a deep love that you feel for this person and they have that deep love for you as well. The sexual attraction, wanting to revive this romance, this partnership, bringing it back into union. And it's interesting because the lover's card is also a card of choices and decisions. And with the three of wands right here, I really feel here this time, Gemini, you're going to make the right choice. Your person will as well make the right choice. And that's what's ultimately going to lead you guys back into each other's hearts, into each other's lives, into each other's arms. Wow, that's pretty cool. So I do feel that, yes, you guys are fated to be in each other's lives to come back together. Okay, so let's grab some dialogue from the Divine Feminine Confessions deck. This is by Bridget of Divine Essentials. So my feminines, what is it? that you would like to say to your masculine right now. Clearly, we both have two letters here coming through in this deck. One feminine, one masculine. You both are thinking of each other and wanting to communicate. There's so much trauma and abuse for me to heal from. I'm worried you won't ever want me because I'm taking too long to heal damage you didn't cause. Wow. So that's some pretty heavy energies from some of my feminines. So if you relate to this for yourself, perhaps, you know, that's why the masculine hasn't made a move quite yet. But here's the thing, my feminines, despite what you've endured in your life, I just feel that that does not define you. That's a part of your life's journey, yes. 
but it does not define who you will be, who you are in the future. And clearly, and as this card says, I'm worried you won't ever want me. They want you. They want you. Okay, I still want you. Do you still want me? Yes. Wow. Every time you come and go, it gets a little bit easier to let you go, but you always come back right at the moment I'm about to move on. How do you know? Okay, some of you guys may have dealt with this. There was that in and out type vibe between the two of you where you were in and out of each other's lives. And that might have been because you were dealing with somebody who had too many choices, entertaining other options, infidelities, cheating, deception, lies. But they always kept coming back because they realized perhaps that you're the one and they needed to realize this, you know, and it's totally up to you, Gemini, if you're going to allow this person back into your life, because obviously, you're not a revolving door of emotions here. Your heart is not going to keep exposing itself to pain like that. People that betray you and hurt you in that way. Especially, obviously, this is coming forward from my feminines. So you might have been dealing with a masculine who was in and out of your life. But you always ended up going back. Or they ended up coming back to you. And right in the nick of time, you know, as this card says, I, just when you're about to move on, they return. But what I'm feeling here, okay, if that is your concern, because remember, we have this message from the tree and it says, here to stay and grow. So there might have been that whole in and out, coming and going vibe between the two of you before. But this time, my feminines, I feel you're masculine. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere this time. Next message. I still remember our first kiss and love how you always give me those same feelings of nerves and excitement when you kiss me now. Okay. But obviously you guys are not together right now, so I feel my feminines, you're reminiscing about when you and your masculine had those intimate moments and it didn't even have to be sex. We're talking about kissing here. There's something about the way they kissed or the way you kissed. They reminisce about it. They, they focus on that. They still remember it. And we also have a feminine here who's coming through with an apology. I'm sorry if I hurt you. I love you so much. Apologies can go both ways, you know. If you would just open up, then I can too. I want to take our time getting to know all about each other and all we missed in separation. So, you know, it's, it's like you guys are starting back at square one, getting to know each other all over again. And not really wanting to rush things this time, taking things slow so that things will last this time. Really getting to uncover and peel back the layers of who you represent to each other and falling in love all over again. Okay, and one last one. You're my muse. I'm inspired by you. You make me feel alive and energized. So my feminines, this is how you feel about this masculine. This masculine truly brings you to life. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and grab some messages from the masculine now. This is my Thinking Man Oracle deck. So we're going to use the Volume 2 deck. So Gemini, 
for this bonus reading for the second half of October. My Divine Masculines. What do you want to say to your feminine? You arouse me intellectually, spiritually, sexually. Did I mention sexually? You see, there's something about the sexual chemistry for sure. Look at this. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. So for some of you guys, this masculine is waiting for movement from the feminine. Time to make moves. So my feminines, if this is the case for you, your masculine hasn't reached out because maybe they're embarrassed, maybe they're afraid, whatever the reason. Maybe they're waiting for a sign from you that you're willing and open to accept them back into your life. They're, they're coming through letting you know, I'm, I'm waiting. Look at this next message. I love you. I love you. I love you. Is it sinking in yet? Okay, so my feminines, if you didn't know it before, this masculine is coming through letting you know I love you. Repeatedly. Next message. I will never love, desire, cherish, or want another. It's always been you. And I truly feel, my feminine, some of you guys really needed clarification on this. Losing you is the single most heartbreaking thing that has shattered me beyond repair. So this masculine was definitely broken as a result of what happened between the two of you. And lastly, you will always be my baby. Always. Some beautiful messages there from the divine masculine for the feminine so hopefully that brings you some peace my feminines to know that you're loved and that you're still wanted by your masculine okay so let's grab some messages from my heart and soul love oracle angels and spirit guides please Focusing on Gemini for this bonus reading, second half of October. What else do we need to know? It does appear that you guys are fated to come back. And you guys still want each other. There's still hope here. We all know what it feels like to be disappointed, heartbroken, left empty by promises that remain unkept. Then one day life hands you a glimmer of hope that you're not meant to live this life disappointed, heartbroken, and empty. It never feels like it at the time, but the journey is always worth it. Okay, so despite where you guys are at on this journey, there is still hope that you guys are fated to return, to reconcile. We have the search. We search, we hope, and sometimes we do find that one perfect love that lasts a lifetime. Other times, our search leads us to grief, heartache, disappointment. There are no guarantees in life that we're going to leave this world, having known the type of love you read about in romance novels, but it sure is worth searching for. And honestly, Gemini, what I'm feeling for you when it comes to your person is that your search is over that they are the one for you and they know this as well. We've got joy, okay? It really was love at first sight the moment I saw you from that first glance that I knew was meant for only me. The brush of your hand against mine, your heartwarming smile and everything about you that brings me joy beyond measure. Thank you for choosing me for life. Wow, I really feel just based off of that that message you know this person is ready to commit they want long-term happiness and commitment with you gemini and perhaps you're ready for that as well and lastly we have love dance there's no one else on this planet i'd want to go through this dance of life with you are my other half my best friend my lover my plus one my person my soulmate let's dance this dance together for the rest of our days Oh my gosh. Bride and groom. Commitment. Possible marriage for some of you guys through a reunion. 
it's so beautiful. So I, I do hope whatever part of that you resonate with that it brings you joy and happiness to hear that your person wants to be able to commit to you long term and spend the rest of their life with you. Okay, so let's grab some messages from the journey of love deck. This is volume one and two. Gemini, so let's take a look and see what comes through. This is by Bridget of Divine Essentials. Union, number four. I can't wait to dance with you into eternity. That's crazy, okay? There's something about dancing and music here that brings you guys together, that brings you joy. Dancing, eternity, forever. That's what they want with you, Gemini. They really see this long-term future with you. We have vulnerable, number 28. I'm ready to tell you everything, okay? They're really ready to open up their heart space to you, Gemini, and perhaps you're feeling quite as vulnerable as well and ready to open up yourself to your person too. Oh my gosh, look at this next message. You see that? Faded. Number six. Could be the month of June, right? Which for some of you represents Gemini season. I'm sure this was all meant to be. Oh my goodness. And then we have number 19, unconditional. Perhaps this person, they've always had unconditional love for you, Gemini. I'll always forgive you. So even though we've got ghosting, we've got setting free, there have been some challenges in this relationship. This person is open to forgiveness and perhaps you are open to forgiveness also. And lastly, we have alignment number 23. Things are coming together now. Destiny, faded. You guys are faded to stay together, to come together, to reconcile, have a reunion. It looks pretty positive here, Gemini, that you and this person that you're focused on for this reading will have another chance to get it right this time. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's close this out, guys, with some final messages from the Lover's Oracle deck. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini. For Gemini, some final messages. <laughs> we have a sexual union. I mean, that was quite prominent right from the very beginning, the sexual chemistry. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. And I really do feel, you know, when you guys are together in this way, those intimate moments, you guys are just bonded. Your, your bodies, your hearts are intertwined in a way where it's very special. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. And lastly, we have weight, okay? Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Yes, absolutely. Because even though the clock is ticking, you know, time might be running out. It's also one of those things where it comes down to the right timing. And you'll know it in your heart, Gemini, if it's you that needs to take action or if it's your person that needs to take action. They're going to know when it's the right time to make that move, to open up lines of communication and to really help bring this back together. So the big question, are you guys fated to be together? Absolutely. Yes, you are. Okay, so that's what I've got for you, Gemini. Some really nice messages presenting itself here. And for those who are interested in your own personal private reading, 
that information is down below. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so very much as always. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading and I'll see you next time. Take care.